Okay, on this problem, we have a radio manufacturer that has a total cost function. So they give us the cost function, C of X equals 5X plus 333. And a total revenue function, so they give us a revenue function, R of X, which is going to be 14X. Now, our first goal in part A here is to come up with an equation for the profit function. So it's an important thing to kind of remind ourselves, profit is going to be calculated by all the money coming in, the revenue, minus all of our costs. So basically R of X, our revenue function, minus C of X, our cost function. So in this case, we wanna be careful. Um, we have 14 X can be plugged in just using our revenue function. R of X is gonna get replaced with 14 X. From here, we need to subtract away our cost function. This is where everyone makes their small mistake along the way, is you have to subtract away that entire cost function. So notice how I put it in parentheses as I did so. So if we want to drop our parentheses, it's 14 X. And then we're going to distribute, we're going to treat this like a negative one out in front that gets distributed to both of these terms on the inside. So that's going to leave us at minus five X minus 333. Combine our like terms, 14 X's minus five X's makes nine X's minus 333. And that's going to be our profit function. All right, we can use that to determine what the profit's going to be uh, on selling 85 units. So 85 is a number of units. That's going to be a value for X. So it's going to be 9 times 85 minus 333. So just substituting that 85 in for X. And it looks like that's what, 432? Nine times 85 minus 333, good. And then in part C, what we need to do is we're gonna find how many radios must be sold to avoid losing money. So we wanna have our profit be positive. In a math sense, that means greater than zero. So what we can do is we can say our profit function, nine X minus 333, has to be greater than zero. And all I did there was I replaced P of X with what we said it was gonna be equal to. And now it shouldn't be too bad to solve this down. We're gonna add the 333 to both sides. Didn't multiply or divide by a negative, so our sign doesn't change. And then to get X all by itself, in this case, we'll divide by nine. So X has to be greater than, let me see, 333 divided by nine is gonna be 37. So you have to sell at least 37 units uh, to be profitable. All right. Hope this helps. See you next time.